Hey guys, today's uh, video is going to be a quick unboxing of this uh, Hunter Steve the Cyborg uh, outfit. I just got it in from Cotswold. Uh, waited really a good long time for this. I'm not. I'm not really. As I said before, I'm not really a collector or a fan of collecting things, but I uh, really like this outfit. And I just happen to have this G.I. Joe uh, who's in desperate need of some clothing. So I thought I'd go ahead and throw it on here and uh, or at least open the box up and see uh, what the contents look like. And then uh, maybe attempt to put it on. Let's see how it goes. So the box itself is pretty nice. It's got uh, some nice graphics on it. Uh, the first thing that I saw though kind of made my head uh, toss a little bit was this use this wooden spatula to help tucking cyborg cyborg shirts in pants. See instructions inside. Well, okay then. Uh, got a popsicle stick and I'm going to uh, remove that uh, with my trusty Zacto blade so I can get to the contents, see what's actually in this box. Uh, this set features Colonel Steve Head, a tan hunter shirt, a tan hunter pants, a belt, and brown short boots. Okay, sounds good. It's really the reason why I want it. I don't particularly care for the Steve Head, but we'll see how it looks. I don't know. I kind of like my... Uh, 70s throwback mustachioed uh, man of action astronaut uh, head and I think I may end up sticking with him uh, but we'll see how it compares to the Colonel Steve hat, hat or head I should say uh, and see what we get okay so there's the box and let's see how we get it open it looks like it's sealed up here Pop it up. Oh yeah, a little piece of tape. Let me clear that out. Now we got it. Uh, better, stronger, faster. The cyborg. Out comes all the goodies. And there's the box. And there's my instruction sheet. Instructions how to properly tuck in Steve's shirt. For a better fit, the pants were made very tight, so included is a wooden spatula to help the process of tucking the shirts in the pants. Gearing up your figure more easily included in this set is a pair of plastic gloves to facilitate the procedure. Before dressing up your figure, put the plastic gloves included in this section on your finger's arms. The gloved hands shall easily go through the sleeves. Once the hand is fully outside the sleeve, just pull the plastic glove out. Ah, very nice. This technique is quite useful, for example, when putting a coat on a figure wearing a long sleeve shirt. After dressing the figure up with the shirt, just repeat the process. The hand shall easily go through the coat sleeve, even if already wearing a long sleeve shirt. Putting the boots on. The boots were made of soft urethane resin with thermo thermoplastic properties, which mean it can harden on cold weathers okay if you face difficulty on putting the boots on your figures feet heat the boots in the ankle r so i'm assuming that's area with a hair dryer for about 20 to 30 seconds before using them and oh wait this looks like it's possibly the gloves the plastic gloves stuck here on this sheet if you can see it yeah, so let me get them off of there before we go any further. I'm using again my handy dandy exacto. If I can get them off without completely destroying it. Yeah, double sided sticky double sided sticky tape. Um, it's gonna be the devil for getting these gloves. Uh, open without destroying them yeah I'm not, I'm not sure how that's gonna go I might have to uh, come back to that deal 
Yeah, it looks like it's uh, something maybe a little goo gone uh, will help me get the stickiness off it and then uh, open those gloves up so they could actually be used. So I'm going to put that to the side. I guess I won't be able to dress them right here on this video. Uh, there's the Colonel Steve head. It's actually, it's actually a nice head. Uh, pretty cool. Let's see, does it want to open? Yep, so it does want to open. Uh, it's got a nice, uh, nice head and it's got a nice, uh, actual nice face. Uh, it's pretty soft, real nice. So I'm going to grab a quick grab a spare uh, neck post. Just so happen to have a bunch of them sitting around. And yeah, as I thought, he just slides quickly up on there uh, with absolutely no issues. Uh, and I'll be able to pop it right back off just the same. So that's a nice feature. Pop on, pop off. So yeah, he'll definitely get some use. Uh, Here's his outfit in the plastic bag. Let me go ahead and separate that. There's the belt. Uh, nice looking belt. Looks like it's threaded through yeah, from one side to the other as it passes over the center section. Uh, that's how you take it on off remove it remove it from the buckle uh, here's the shirt very nice uh, i'm a fan here and the reason why i bought this set to be quite honest with you i like the outfit uh, i like the olive or the the tan colored uh, shirt and pants and the nice snappy white buttons that go with that uh, very nice it's held together with metal snaps two metal snaps pretty nice uh, grunga toys label inside uh, yeah, I'm definitely liking that. And the pants, uh, <laughs> excuse me, this pants are, are pretty nice. Uh, they're very, very close at the waist. I can see what they're saying. Uh, hard to tuck in. Uh, they are uh, elasticized, I guess, is the best term for it. This is the front side with the fly, the back side. Um, I'll just take a quick second here to see if they slide on the figure. Uh, let's see how it looks. If I can get them on there. Fly in front. As it should be. Slip it on. It looks pretty good so far. Ups inside, and up we go. Very tight, uh, very tight. Should, in my mind, uh, slide over the hips just a, a little bit easier. Uh, so, well, they may want to call it. They were made uh, to be tight around the waist. My thought is. Uh, it's actually a mismanufactured product, I, in my mind. Now, you again, you call it what you want. I believe that a pair of pants ought to fit over the two balls of the the ball jointed figure uh, with little to no effort. And these, uh, not only do they not, but uh, no, they don't. Uh, and they're hugely tight. hugely tight I mean second skin tight on the thighs so was that kind of the roll way they did them back in the 70s I don't know I was there I don't remember my pants uh, being that tight around my legs but my wife probably would be able to fill you in better on that since she and I uh, grew up in that era uh, but I do like the bell bottom the flared look they look pretty nice I'm just totally dissatisfied with the uh, the waist fit and the thigh fit. But again, uh, it did get there, and uh, it is it is pretty good looking once it's on. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, 
do his jacket without the little middies if I can. We'll see. Again, if the fit at the waist is any indication of the fit of the sleeve, we may have we may have an issue. Nope, the sleeve fits quite nicely. So I'm pleased with that. Um, I'm skeptical. I'm hugely skeptical of the ability for that jacket to tuck into those pants uh, at all. I mean, there's there's no there's absolutely no play in that whatsoever. Uh, jacket, let's see how it fits. Looks good. Tight snaps together. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. I'm, I'm a fan of it. Uh, I'm thinking pretty much uh, what I expected on the upper section. Looks pretty good. Quite nicely laid out. Let's check these boots and see what we got. We got some nice short boots. Uh, let's see what they go with. Shoes, the nice uh, bell-bottom pants slip over the boots without uh, any any interference whatsoever. And give a nice look. There we go. Tuck him right out. Set him up. Oh, oh, here he is. Very nice. I'll set him back here and get the whole view. say it was worth the wait. I do like the outfit. Um, we'll see about his head and we'll see about his pants uh, and the jacket being able to tuck in. If it doesn't tuck in, I guess I won't be hugely disappointed. Um, definitely a cleaner look if it can tuck in. Um, but the rest of it looks pretty good and for the era uh, is a is a nice add uh, I didn't find I necessarily needed these little glove things but uh, I will see if I can't get that tape off just to see and in the future um, I might go ahead and, and try the nice head sculpt I know the red outfit I think came with the red or with the head sculpt as well so you're probably familiar with that one again this is uh, Grunga Toys via Cotswold Collectibles, the Cyborg uh, Hunter Steve. Thanks for taking a minute to watch and appreciate your time.